Can you believe that? And again, the 2-2. And here it is. And swung it, hit the left field deep, way back. Ruin turning around. He will watch a game-winning grand slam for Chris Davis in the bottom of the ninth inning. Do you believe that? A's 8, Texas 5. And it's Davis's third home run tonight. They're going wild at the Coliseum. Cologne looking for his first hit of the year. Oh. He drives one. Deep left field. Back goes Upton. Back near the wall. It's out of here. <laughs> Bartolo has done it. The impossible has happened. This is one of the great moments in the history of baseball. Bartolo Cologne has gone deep. The pitch. And a high drive, hit back into deep right field. Junior has just knocked the door down to the 500 club. A high drive into the lower deck and right. Number 30 touches them all, and boy, what a Father's Day gift for Senior. Getting his 500th home run to right field. What a scene this is here at Bush Stadium in St. Louis. The 20th member of the 500th home run club. Line drive left field, that's it. Number 1,000 for Jose Altuve. From Flushing, Queens, baseball and from the home of the Mets, York, City Field. Today, the third and final New game in this three-game series Mets. between the Miami Marlins and the New York Mets. It's Mets baseball next on the show. Robert Gesellman gets the starting nod for the Mets. Harold, what do you got? Well, Matt, this guy's got good stuff, but he's really struggled with runners in scoring position. The batting average goes up. I want to see. What does he do? Does he tip his pitches? Is he given signs from second base to the opponent, and then they're not translating it right? What's going on here? Because this guy's stuff is too good for him to struggle as much as he does with runners in scoring position. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. This is line to left and a base hit so early trouble to lead off the inning the throw into second and he's out trying to stretch it into a double so a costly mistake here leading off the inning and here's how the visiting Miami Marlins will line up in this one. What do they need to do to get a win on the road here today Harold. Well in this day and age with so many teams are relying on that long ball to win games for them. This isn't one of those clubs really they're in the bottom third in the league in home runs so they're going to put the ball in play they're going to try to manufacture runs they can run into one every now and then but that's not the key part of their offense. Bases are empty one man out. And this one's chopped foul right at home plate. down the first baseline and he'll take it onto the bag himself two gone now here in the first had third. to protect there with right two strikes here. and he just Just's got it off the end of that not much of a problem for the infield at that point. Giancarlo Stanton now and he's looking to turn things around ice cold at the plate in recent action. Into the windup. Here's the two and one pitch. Swing and a miss out in front of a changeup. I like how he's mixing up the fastball and the changeup right there. That's how we got the two and two count. I think he comes back with the changeup here. Throws it on strike three for the final out of the inning. Miami down in order. And now the Mets offense will go to work for the first time. No score. Dan Straley, the California born right hander, is on the mound. What's your take on him, H? Well, Matt, he's really had a tough time his last three outings. ERA over nine. It's basically giving up a run an inning. He just has really struggled and not been able to figure it out. They're giving him the ball, though, and anytime you get the ball, you got a chance to turn it around. We'll see if today's the day he turns it around. Digging in the switch hitter, Jose Reyes, as we run you the numbers to see the splits between July and August.
And this is low, ball two, two and one. These Marlins, Harold, as they take the field this afternoon, they suffered a bit of a setback last time out, but not to worry, they're still six and two over their previous eight ball game. And Matt, you always want to win two of the three games. I mean, today is a big game because you walk away and you start adding up those numbers in the series. You go, we won two out of three there. That's the goal for every team to win two out of three in the series. Time now to take a look at Terry Collins Mets starting lineup in this one. What's going to be the key for him today, HR? You want to watch the team put the ball in play. This is the team you want to watch. They are last in the league in strikeouts. One through nine, they put the ball in play. They put pressure on you. It's going to be a fun watch to see how they battle the other team's pitchers. In now, Gavin Cicchini. He did not play last night, but clearly back in the starting nine for this one. Three and two. Pretty lucky to get away with that one. There's not a situation ever where you want to throw a high changeup, so I think he'll try to make an adjustment with the next one he throws. And he missed with that one. It's ball four. A one-out walk here in the home first. Batting third. Right Striding in, Wilmer Flores. Wilmer. And there you see his righty-lefty splits and how they've played out so far this season. Runner at first here, one man out. In the dirt here, runner holds as the count moves to two and one. He's set and the two one pitch takes a fastball on the inside corner. Here's a looping fly ball out to right. Stanton coming on. He gets there and makes a fine running play for the second out. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice that about trying one. to move up. Third baseman, David. Here's the third baseman, right. David Wright. He's back in the starting lineup for this one after sitting out last night's game. Ready with the one and one. And that one stayed too low, apparently. A changeup that just catches the bottom of the zone for a strike. Here's the pitch on two and two. Three and two now. Full count with two outs now, so if he can put the ball in the gap somewhere, he could have a good shot of driving in a run because the run at first will be in motion. And they won't tempt it here with Wright as that pitch misses for ball four. Some guys take a little time to find the zone, but with the second walk of the first Batting inning, it might be a little more than just settling in here. Not sure how long of a leash they'll give him, but they're not going to let him walk the world out there. Good lead off a second there. Now the pitch. Called strike that time, and it's even at two and two. A decent lead at second. Here's the pitch. And a good fastball swung on and missed for strike three, and the inning is over. A couple of walks, but no damage. More to come on the show Sunday baseball after this. Stepping up now, Justin Bohr. He's not among the league leaders in home runs, but his total does top this ball club. And now a pitch on the way. Right side. A dive. He's got it. He's up with it. The throw in time. And that's a huge play to keep the leadoff man off base. Oh, that's a tough play, but he pulled it off perfectly. Once he made the great stop, still had to make a good feed to the pitcher covering, which isn't easy on routine grounders sometimes. Hard not to appreciate that one. Into the box now, Marcelo Zuna. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right, and that'll move the count to one and two now. Again, he sends it out of play. Here's another one, too. 
hit hard on the ground to second. In time to first, and there were two away. Having checked, Patrick. JT at the plate, Real Muto. JT Real Muto. And as you take a look at the splits here, he's actually better against right handed pitching this season. No score here as we play inning number two. Line toward right center. That gets down, and the inning continues. Well, Matt, that's his eighth game with that hit right seven. there. Eight games in a row, he's swinging the bat. We've been watching Martin him over this week, just Prado. scorching. Martin Prado now. He's hitting in the 270s on the season coming into this one. And here's a ball lifted back toward the stands in right, so we'll try it again at one and two. Again, a one-two. And a fastball. Mm, tough take there, but it's even back at two and two. When a pitcher's close to working through a quick inning, that's when you really need to grind out some at bats. He's done a good job of that, and that's really big when you're hitting towards the bottom of the order. Two and two count. Here it comes. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field, and he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. Marlins leave one. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. So striding in, Rene Rivera. And he's seen his numbers on the rise here over the last five games or so. Ready on three and one, here it comes. And he takes ball four. Leadoff man's aboard here to begin the home half of the second. Man, the pitcher's wondering how he didn't get that call. Busted him inside on a 3 1 count. The ump thought it was just a tad off the plate. Tough to get the benefit of the doubt from the umpire when you fall behind an account like that, though. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Slider stayed too low. Ball two. Boy, not exactly what you'd like as a pitcher. One of the keys is to minimize your pitches, attack the strike zone early. A lot of deep counts and working himself into a lot of trouble. Takes a look at a strike over the inside corner. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. Swing and a ball hit to the left side, and this is going to wind up a souvenir. He's clearly looking to hit off the fastball and adjust. That's a pretty good swing after seeing two fastballs now in a row. And that misses, so it's a full count, three and two. Good battle here. This will be the seventh pitch coming up. He's running towards second, and he won't have to contend with the throw as that misses for ball four. First and second now to start the inning. And this is the kind of thing that's been happening to him all season long. He'll cruise for a while, hitting his spots, and all of a sudden the wheels come off and he struggles. We'll see if he can recover here. Hoping to send him packing, pitch on its way. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at bat here. Now the runners take off again. And this one's tapped foul at home plate. The next 3 2, running yet again for second. Chopped weakly to the left. And he'll reach first as they can't make the play on him. What an at bat. Eight pitches, and on the eighth pitch, he gets a fastball and gets a base hit. That's what you call seeing everything the pitcher has to offer. So, digging in now, Robert Gesellman. Certainly a big moment in this game. Bases loaded, tie score. Here's the one and one delivery. And there's one he'd like to have over again. Missed high with the slider. Look, 2-0 oh to the pitcher in this situation with the bases loaded. You have to challenge him. Make him swing the bat. And now everybody's running. Now a bunt attempt here. So they get the out at first, but the run will score on the suicide squeeze. Something you don't see all that often anymore as the runner was breaking from third. The perfect suicide squeeze gets him a run.
In now, Jose Reyes. Favorable call in there for a strike. We're in the second, 1-0 Mets early on. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Oh, that's a good sign right there. After the fastball, he gets that change up and he stayed right on it. Just couldn't keep it fair. He's seeing the ball well, though. Now a flare out toward right center. Stanton over to his right. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. And he'll think better of trying to score as he holds it third with two away now. Nice shortstop. Digging in to try it again, Chikini. Gavin Cicchini. He's got a chance to add to this early lead as he'll bat with a couple of guys in scoring position. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. He'll try again, one, two. And a slider is way low, but a good job there to knock this one down. Second and third, two away. This is skied into short left center. After it is Yelich. And that retires the side. Mets forced to settle for one here in the inning. We played two full. It's the Mets one and the Marlins nothing. Some fans still trickling into the ballpark as we get you set for the top of inning number three. Here's Echeverria now. He was hitless in the shutout last night. Oh, and he took something off of it there. It's one and two. One and two, here it comes. Swinging a ball, hit on the ground. There to get it is right. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Batting ninth, Petra. So striding Dan forward now, Straley. Dan Straley, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. A changeup right on the outside corner for a strike. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Sent on the ground out to second. Right there is Reyes. Throw gets him. Two down. The batter, number nine. Here's D. Gordon now. He was cut down at second, attempting to stretch a base hit his first time through. Here comes the payoff pitch. This one's down to third. Wright has it. Throw in time, and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Marlins. They trail this one, one to nothing. Ready for another chance? Wilmer Flores, 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Aye. Called strike two. Two balls, two strikes. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. Hit on the ground to short. Hechevarria has it. One away. A third baseman, number five. Happy to have you along here on the show on a fine Sunday afternoon as you take a look at our upcoming schedule for the week to come. Digging in, David Wright. He drew a walk his first time up. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. The two two now to right. Down the third baseline. Throw to first is in time to take care of right and that's the second out. Now batting. First baseman. And that brings up the catcher T.J. Rivera. 0 for 1 here in the early going. And oh, he's really given some leeway on the outside edge here. Two and two now. So far in this game, he's the only guy in the lineup that's gone down on strikes. 
Yeah, and he might strike out for a second time right here. And that's low, so a good eye there as he works the count back full. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Here's a high pop up. Bohr is calling for it, makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. Mets go down one, two, three. They lead it one to nothing. With Harold Reynolds and Dan Plesak, Matt Vaskersian with you as the left-handed hitting Christian Yelich settles in to start out the inning. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. Now a swing and a chopper foul right at home plate. Ready to deliver the one and two. And another foul ball. Another one two delivery. Walter. And the changeup is way low that time. Well, you talk about fighting. He's fouling balls off, fouling them off in the one two count. He finally took a ball right there. I wonder if he feels more confident or he wants to keep swinging. And Wright will put this one away for the first down. Digging in for his second at bat, Giancarlo Stanton. He's 0 for 1 thus far. And Stanton's aboard. It's a base hit. Hold on here, though. You can see the skipper heading out of the dugout now, so that very close safe call might be challenged. Yeah, I wasn't so sure about him being safe either, but here's another shot of it right here. Not easy to tell for sure from that shot. Going to be interesting to see what they want to do with this one. So here's the signal from the bench, and they will indeed ask for the play to be reviewed. So the umpires will get on the horn with the replay operations center in Manhattan and attempt to get a definitive Ladies answer on this play. The Mets have decided to. All right, so here's one play. final look at it. Now remember, there has to be indisputable video evidence in order to overturn the call. He was called safe and probably could go either way, but I don't think there's enough right here to change the call. And we'll get our answer here as it appears the umpires have made their decision and the headset comes off. And the runner Upon is safe at first as originally called, so they will lose the ability the to challenge for the remainder of the game. Standing in now, Justin Bohr. Oh, now here's a drive out to the alley. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one out double. Finally, they show some signs of life. These guys have been swinging the bats like they're now underwater or something. But a single and a double, Marcel and now they've got runners Ozuna. on second and third. We'll see if they can cash them in. Into the box, Marcelo Zuna as he lifts it in the air to right field. Flores sprinting after it. He makes the running play. Two down. And both runners have to hold where they are, so call it a missed opportunity with two gone now. JT Stepping in and ready for another shot, JT Real Muto, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. And ball four here on the intentional walk, so now they'll have a force at any base with two gone. Third baseman. Martin Prado now comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Oh, he breaks out the hook there. Good for strike two. He's ready with the 2-2 pitch. Seared down the first baseline. And he'll take it to the bag himself. And a great job of pitching out of the bases loaded situation as the side is retired. So no runs on two base hits. No errors. And they leave the bases loaded. On now to the bottom half of inning number four. It's the Mets one. And the Marlins nothing. So stepping in, Rene Rivera. No official at bat for him, but he has scored a run in this one. Gets the sign. Here comes the 2 1. And the changeup just missed the inside corner. Marlins have some action in the bullpen now as a right hander is up and throwing. 
called strike, and that'll run it full. The difference maker in this outing than others is the two-seamer. He's doing whatever he wants to do with that ball. It's moving all over the place. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. Really good late bite on that slider right there. The best the ones have builder, that late action that just starts at the Brandon. last minute. They're so Demo. tough to get the bat on, and when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. Stepping in now, Brandon Nimmo. Mine to the right side. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. That ball's off the plate. He pulls his hands in and gets the base hit to the outfield. The only way you hit that inside pitch is if you're looking for it. Look at the screen right here. That ball's not even in the zone. He had to be looking inside to hit that ball. Into the box now, Juan Ligares hit the target, but this is low, two and one. The two and one on its way. Right over the middle, knee high. Well, he's pitching really good in this game, and the fastball location has been the key. That pitch right there is indicative of the game. Down low, hits a spot. That's what he's been doing with the fastball basically the whole game. Swing and a liner toward the gap in left center. And that's in for a base hit. His second in his many trips to the plate. And on the play, the runner moves into scoring position now at second. Well, he was definitely struggling I'll coming into this one. But I think we could say Enter. that cold streak Robert is officially Justin over. Hellman. That's his second hit of the game. And it goes for extra bases. We'll see now if this game proves to be a huge turning point for him. In now, Robert Gesellman. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Well, you got two runners on scoring position, one out. Good thing, you got the pitcher at the plate. You got to attack him just like a normal hitter. You can't give in right now. The runner's breaking for home. Now a bunt attempt here, and they will put the tag on him, but meanwhile, the run is in to score. Sometimes for a first baseman, the best thing you do is just go ahead and tag the guy like that. Hey, there's a okay. lot more that can go wrong when you try to throw to the pitcher or the second baseman covering. Ready for another shot now. Jose Reyes, 0 for 2 on his line thus far. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. And a changeup right down the middle. Well, I think he's got to find a way out of this jam and limit the damage. If he's unable to do that, this game could get away from him. A ball and two strikes. Here it is. Swing and he pops him up over toward foul territory. Prado is there and the side is retired. Mets played a run on a couple of hits. We played four full. It's the Mets two and the Marlins nothing. Here's Echeverria now. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Now here's the pitch. Fastball is taken for a strike and he runs it full 3 and 2. Well this offense finds himself struggling right now and they're down a few runs. They got to try to manufacture. Get somebody on maybe hit and run and then you look for the big ball. Looks like right now everybody's swinging for the downs. They got to turn it around a little bit. Play a little small ball. Get it going. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Calling for it. Flores. One away. So still nothing against him on the scoreboard here in the fifth as we check out the league leaderboard for Team ERA. And as of right now, these guys find themselves in the number five spot in that category in the NL. Derek Dietrich will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. No runs, four hits, and no errors in the game for the Marlins. Looks like a left-hander has begun to get loose out in that Mets bullpen. This is on the ground over to first. Rivera picks it up, and he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. The batter, number nine, second baseman, D. Gordon. Here's D. Gordon now. 
He's one for two in the ball game. No runs, four hits, and no errors in the game for the Marlins. Now here's a comebacker back to the mound. And he'll toss this one on to first as they're kept off the scoreboard again, and the inning is over. Miami down in order. They trail it here two to nothing. Your David Phelps, please. a six foot two now inch right hander, jogs in to take over on the mound. David Phelps. Ready once again, Gavin Cicchini. He's 0 for 1 thus far. And now the Marlins bullpen will swing into action as a lefty and a right-hander start to get loose. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. And he lays off upstairs, but it's ruled a strike, and he can't believe it. One and two. Now the pitch. And the fastball easy to lay off that time two and two. Here's the pitch on two and two. Fastball didn't miss by much and it's a full count now three and two. With the meat of the order due up next you can probably expect to see something you can handle here with the full count as the two hole hitter. Gordon into shallow center one out. The right fielder number four. Wilmer riding in once again Wilmer Flores 0 for 2 here to start the afternoon from the windup the 1 1 pitch a slider that just grabs the outside corner here he comes on a ball and two strikes fastball stays way up that time for ball two one out nobody on. Hit on the ground out to short. Fielded by Hechevarria. Throw gets him. Two down. Third baseman, number five. Here's the third baseman, David, David Wright. Wright. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Bases are empty here with two men out. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Ozuna racing back. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. Down in order go the Mets. They're up two to nothing. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Christian Yelich, 0 for 2 on the afternoon so far. And now we'll see some action in the bullpen as the lefty starts to get loose. And here's a ball hit in the air, but this will land untouched. And oh, mm, tough fastball to lay off on one and two, but he did, and it's two and two now. Well, it's been a good outing so far, but he hasn't really racked up the strikeout totals that you might think, Dan. Yeah, it amazes me how every game you pitch can be so different, Matt. Sometimes it feels like guys can't touch you and you're just punching everyone out, but other times you don't have your good stuff and you really rely on movement and location to get out. That's been the case for him today, and it's really working. Giancarlo Stanton now. He's singled in two trips to the plate thus far. A runner at second, nobody out. Now time is called here as we'll get a trip to the mound. The 1-1 pitch. Swing and that's hit out of play up into the plaza level. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. And a liner foul into the seats down the right side. Here's another one two and this is swung on and missed and boy they took care of a key man there one away. This has not been a weekend to remember for him. He's just been completely lost at the plate flailing all over the place. Now that's his sixth strikeout of the series. They've really got him figured out. 
And here's ball four now on the intentional walk. So that'll set up the double play possibility with one gone. Now batting. Left fielder. Here's Marcelo Zuna. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Working for the punch out and the offering. And that's through into center field. Base hit. Yelich rounds the corner and is headed home. The runner scores from second. They got shut out yesterday, and it wasn't pretty. Even though it's taken them a little while to get their first run here, at least they're on the board. Real Muto. Hansel Robles takes the mound to try to get out of this mess. There are two on with only one away. First and second now, one man out. Into the box, JT Realmuto. Now a swing, and he just fouls this one away. And a good two-strike swing here as he's been fighting off some tough pitches, but the count will remain at 0-2. This is just great pitching. They start him off with the slider to get the strike, and then they bust him in with a fastball. I don't know what he's thinking up there, but they really are messing with his mind right now. This is a big spot, Matt. You know, I like how he's pitching, though. Get him 0-2, you waste one, and now you got to expand the zone still and see if he'll stay aggressive and chase a pitch. Got him to miss the breaking ball there. JT Realmuto is sent packing for route number two in the sixth. Standing in now, Martin Prado. I uh, had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. One two pitch is a slider that misses two and two. Well, I like the pitch idea. It looked like he tried to get into chase right there. Make him think that ball's over the plate and it runs away. But he laid off. It. I don't know how, but he did. So he threw the slider darting away to him two times in a row. Now I don't think he'll go for it again. I'm looking for something hard inside on this pitch. Don't quite know where that one missed, but it's not for me to decide. Three and two. He's set. Here's the three and two. High pop up. Robles is there for it. And that's the third out. Marlins forced to settle for one. On to the bottom of inning number six. The Mets are out on top. Two to one. And that brings up the catcher, T.J. Rivera. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. Set to deal. Here's the 3-1. Hey. Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Grounder hit hard down the first baseline. Once again, a 3 2. Swing and a liner, but this will be a foul ball. Another full count pitch home. And here's a ball hit in the air. In there, a base hit. So with that, the Mets have a runner aboard to get the inning underway. Well, he got jammed on that one right there, and he's just strong enough to muscle it in the right field for the base hit. It's going to be a line drive tomorrow in the paper. Digging in to try it again. Rene Rivera, 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Oh, good action on the two seamer there and it's one and two low scoring game thus far two to one here in the sixth and a swing and a miss there on a late breaking slider as he set down on strikes for the second time this afternoon the left fielder number nine. ready for another chance Brandon, Brandon Nimmo. Nimmo he singled his last time up. Runner. 
full count. Here it comes. Taken for strike three, the throw. And he is out at second. Caught stealing to end the inning. One hit in the inning, but that gets erased. We're through six full. The Mets lead it two to one. Welcome back to City Field in Flushing. Getting set for the seventh inning now with the Mets out on top. But first, let's check out the game summary through the first six innings of baseball. Ready once again, a Danny Echevarria. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. And now pitch on the way. And this is fouled straight back. Here's the one and two delivery. Hit hard on the ground towards second. Right there is Reyes. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Matt Dendecker will pinch hit here, and he's the potential tying run. Matt Dendecker. for the New York Mets. So with a left-handed hitter waiting, they'll go to their own left-hander out of the bullpen. Swing and a little tapper. That winds up foul. Ready now with the payoff pitch. Out in front as this is pulled foul into the seats. And it looks now like a right hander has begun to get loose in the Mets bullpen. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Now batting. Second baseman. Striding in once D. again. D. Gordon. D. Gordon in his career versus this pitcher. Just a 1 for 12 career line. Lays off that time and it's one and two. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Check swing, no swing, says the home plate umpire. Ball two. He's set. Here's the two two. And a swing as he pulls this one into right. And that gets down and ought to be good for extra bases. And hold all tickets now as the tying run gets into scoring position with a two out double. The baseball's a game of streaks and runs and he is on one right now. Yeah and you've got to ride these streaks as long as you possibly can and he's doing that coming in right here. Came into this game on fire with the stick and he's doing that here. That's now two hits so far for him in this one. Stepping in now Christian Yelich. Here he comes again, 1-2. High in the air into shallow left center. Lagar is on the run. But the left fielder calls him off and makes the catch. And that ends the Ladies inning. Mets bullpen able to stem the tide. On now to the bottom of inning number seven. It's the Mets two and the Marlins one. Brian Ellington gets the call from now the pen to take over Miami. on the mound and start Number the home seven. Brian Ellington. Here's Juan Ligares. He doubled earlier and carries a two for two line into this appearance. That's on the corner to put him behind now. One and two great spot with that pitch down and away he'll be fine coming out of the bullpen in this one if he can keep hitting that spot and that's a swinging strike three in the dirt he'll throw down to first one away the pitcher number 39 Jerry Levin. Matt Your Reynolds will move into the on deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gun in the Matt inning Reynolds. We're in the seventh inning now of a pitcher's duel. Two to one our score. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. 
Prado is able to look this one in just past the third base dugout, and that's out the number batter, two. Number seven, second baseman. Digging in the okay. switch hitter, Jose Reyes. Oh, yeah. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. Hit out towards second. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. The dangerous Giancarlo Stanton will get the first shot when we return. It's the Mets two and the Marlins one. Your A.J. Ramos point. has been summoned now from the bullpen the as he'll do so to start the eighth. A.J. Ramos. Digging in once again, Giancarlo Stanton. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. He's set. Here's the three and two. Well hit, but also well foul into the seats and left. The next three two. Popped high in the air. Right is there for it. And that's the first out of the inning. Now batting. The first baseman Justin standing in Bohr. Justin Bohr. He doubled earlier in the game one for two to this point. Our pitchers duel continues here two to one score as we play the eighth. Fouled straight back. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground but this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Ready to deliver the one and two. And a neck high fastball that time. The 2 2 pitch. And this is swung on and missed. Two are quickly retired to start inning number eight. Hey, anytime a pitcher locates a fastball on the inside corner, it's going to be a tough pitch to hit. That one was spot on, and he had no answer for it. Into the box now. Marcelo Zuna got him looking and that ends the inning. One, two, three go the Marlins. Our score remains two to one. Ready for another shot now. Gavin Cicchini. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ball game. And he comes back with a fastball. One and two now. Ready on one and two. And this is going to be a foul ball. Here's a swing and a ball hit into the air to left center and shallow. On the move is Ozuna. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. The right fielder, number four, Wilmer. Flores. Now to the plate, Wilmer Flores. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Bases are empty, one man out. Drilled right back up the middle, and that'll find its way into center field for a one out hit. That's a nice controlled two strike approach. You cut your swing down, and all you want to do is see the ball five. and hit it. David. Into the box, David Wright. Right over the middle, knee high. Runners on first with one down. And he pops it up, back behind second base. Gordon ranging into the outfield, two gone. And that brings up the catcher, T.J. Rivera. He steps in off a base hit in his last at bat. And a check swing. Did he go around? No, says the first base umpire. It's ball one. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. And the changeup is way low that time. 
A lot of times you see guys in the middle of the order get worked away but not right here. They're keeping it inside on him. All even at two and two. Here it is. And this is pulled foul as he was way out in front there. He's set. Here's the two two. And this one's in the dirt. A runner on first with two away. Hit fairly well out towards straightaway center. Yelich is under it, makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. Mets leave one as they're unable to add to their two to one lead. Jerry Spamilia comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. So coming to the plate, JT Realmuto, lifetime against Familia. He has been silent, 0 for 13. He's set, and the payoff pitch. Swing and a hard liner to center field. Lagares is there, and he has it for the first out. So the leadoff man gone to start the top of the ninth as we take a look at league saves leaders entering play. And as you see, he's right up there among league leaders in that department. Martin Prado now. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. Hit down the third baseline. Wright's got it. Throw on to first to be in time, and the Marlins are now down to their final out of the game. And that was a no doubles defense in action right there, and it paid off big time. That ball was scorched, but the third baseman was guarding the line more than usual to prevent an extra base hit, and it ended up being pretty much right at him. That's good stuff. In now, Adani Echevarria. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Well, maybe a little bit of a problem is they had to wind up going to that bullpen quite a bit. Five pitchers are going to combine to finish this one to get the win. Pitching and defense game two to one the final score this afternoon. Robert Gesellman earns his eighth victory of the season. Dan Straley was only able to work four innings as he takes the loss. Jerry Scamilla closes the door for the save number 36 on the season. So that's it for us this afternoon for Harold Reynolds Dan Plezak and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB the show for more log on to the show The final line score for this afternoon's ball game for the victorious New York Mets. Two runs on five hits. No errors. Drake delivers as a drive to right field. Hit deep. Back by the bullpen gate. It goes and it is gone. Stubbs the right field to jump and couldn't get it just to the right of the 380 foot marker. David Ortiz ties Mickey Mantle with his 536 home run. 10-2 Red Sox.